Elon Musk's brain implant company Neuralink is a wealthy entrepreneur's entry into the developing field of medicine known as Brain Computer Interface or BCI. Massive advancements in the field of BCI or Brain Computer Interface have been made in the six years following the release of Inception. A portion of that is the result of Neuralink's work integrating gadgets into pigs and monkeys, including the now famous monkey that can play Pong using nothing but his thoughts. The next generation of brain-computer interfaces is currently having its first human trials in the United States thanks to the digital telepathy made possible by BCI technology. However, a device called Stentrode from a rival private firm named Synchron Naughty Neuralink will be the first BCI treatment to receive FDA approval. Hello everyone, welcome back to your favorite channel. Well, in today's video, we are going to learn the most recent developments in the current state of the virtually implanted brain gadget. Stay tuned till the end of the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. With that being said, let's dive into our topic. What is BCI's current situation to begin with? How does the gear link enter into it? So it stands to reason that there was a lot of excitement and media coverage when your connection was established in 2016. Thanks to Elon Musk, the news revealed that he intends to insert implants into people's brains and would heal all ailments, making you smarter, allow you to operate a computer with just your mind, and even interact with artificial intelligence to create a superhuman-human-machine hybrid. It was a little unusual, but that's just how Elon is. He just blurts out whatever wacky fanciful thoughts occur to him since it lacks a filter. And the news media covers it. The brain-computer interface was not created by Elon Musk, although it has been around for a while. The main difficulty is that between 2016 and the mid-1990s, there has been almost no improvement in the approach and use of BCI. Neuralink thus represents a cutting-edge approach to an already existing technology that accomplishes exactly what Tesla has done for the automobile sector. The electric automobile was not invented by them, but they did bundle that technology into a product that performs wonderfully and fixes the flaw in the earlier design. The idea of a brain-computer link is quite straightforward. Your brain may command the rest of your body by delivering certain electrical impulses to specific organs or muscles or through your nerves. The body's electrical pulses are comparable to computer programming. Your spinal cord receives signals from your brain, but a physical injury or a degenerative illness can disrupt this communication between the brain and the body. PCI can therefore serve as a bridge for those electrical signals to go around the damaged connection. There are two categories of BCI technology now available, invasive and non-invasive. You have probably seen non-intrusive BCI with this electrode sensor over it. It seems to be a simple conversation. Although it can sense brain electrical impulses, it's not particularly effective at it. The entire skull is located between the sensors and the neurons. It was at this point that Neuralink was defeated by another startup. The Federal Drug Administration has not yet given Neuralink, a business that uses brain computing technology, permission to implant this technology in people. However, one of Neuralink's rivals, Synchron, has successfully implanted its first device into a patient in the US. Specifically, when experiencing ALS symptoms, the patient's capacity to move and communicate has been impacted by the neurogenerative condition. The patient should be able to browse the internet and send and receive emails and texts only by thinking. The patient's ideas would be translated into action by the gadget using commands given to a computer. In Australia, this gadget had previously been implanted in patients. The technology allowed these patients to exchange WhatsApp messages and make online transactions without any negative side effects, according to Bloomberg. In July 2021, the FDA gave Synchron permission to start a human study of their gadget in the brains of six patients. Stentrode can be injected into the patient's brain without harming the tissue or skull. A catheter is then used to inject the centroid into a bloody artery in the motor cortex, which is responsible for organizing, supervising, and carrying out voluntary actions. The procedure begins with the doctor cutting the patient's neck. After being implanted, the gadget is connected to a computer that has been placed in the patient's chest during the second surgery. The stentroid gadget processes the signal generated by brain neurons firing and then transmits it through Bluetooth to a computer phone. Neuralink is working on a surgical robot that would be implanted in a patient as a tiny disc-shaped device that would process and filter data on integrated computer chips. Although Synchron's human testing of the devices in the US is a first, it's not a first in the industry. The Utah Array, a tiny silicon square with 100 needles that are inserted into the brain when implanted, was created by researchers at the University of Utah in 1992 and has since become the industry standard for transmitting electrical impulses from the brain to computers. 
Up until this year, it was the only FDA-approved VCI or brain-computer interface, and it has produced notable results that are enabling paraplegics to operate robot arms. The array, meanwhile, can only cover a small portion of the 86 billion neurons in the human brain because it's based on 1990s technology. Musk established Neuralink in 2016 to develop a system that, once inserted into the brain of a person, would enable a computer to convert that person's ideas into actions. He aspires to both treat and cure illnesses and problems of the brain. Despite Musk's ambitious plans, the Neuralink device has not yet been tested on humans. In a tweet from February 2021, Musk wrote, Neuralink is working incredibly hard to assure implant safety and close cooperation with the FDA. Later this year, if all goes according to plan, we could be able to undertake early human trials. Neuralink has previously been reported by Fortune, including management changes and staff disputes. Neuralink has not yet conducted human studies. For instance, former president and biomedical engineer Max Hodag, who designed unexpectedly, is currently an investor in Synchron. Furthermore, he was accused of being brutal to animals, which cost them their largest competitor. What about the characteristics of Neuralink? In a statement posted on its website, Neuralink addressed the need for using animals in testing new technology. It's important to note that the critics of utilizing animals in research are the ones who level these charges. Before being tested on people, all new medical technologies and therapies must first be tried on animals. Neuralink is not exceptional in this sense. A monkey was used to test a device developed by Elon Musk and Neuralink without the creature suffering any harm. In a video they posted, they showed a monkey playing a mind-controlled video game. A fruit smoothie was given to Pager, the macaque monkey, as a treat for learning how to use a joystick to play the video game according to experts. During this procedure, the Neuralink gadget captured data on which neurons were firing to regulate which motions. The monkey was forced to play the game using only its thoughts once the joystick was unplugged. The experiment received Mr. Musk's normal response. He stated that the first Neuralink device will enable paralyzed people to use smartphones more quickly with their minds than with their hands. Finally, according to CNN, the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine said that UC Davis got $1.5 million in financing from Neuralink in their complaint on the alleged cruelty. No animals were damaged or injured during the experiments. According to Neuralink's explanation of the methods in the statement, the animals will be maintained at UC Davis. The business said that only the monkeys that were healthy enough for one aesthetic event but would not have the best quality of life owing to a pre-existing ailment were put to death humanely in terms of euthanasia. What's going to be said by Synchron CEO? Oxley is the CEO and creator of the business Synchron, which is working on a BCI. These gadgets function by decoding brain impulses into commands that can move an active object such as a robotic arm or a cursor on a screen. In essence, the implant acts as a link between the brain and the computer. These businesses undoubtedly want to do the right thing. The new technology was given to the first patient in the United States on July 6 at a hospital in New York. It claims to allow sufferers to click and move the mouse on their computers. With one single motion, they could be able to text their doctor, purchase online, or send an email. According to Elon Musk, the digital world has already influenced every facet of contemporary life and offers a variety of services, but to utilize them, you must use your fingers. You might be excused for assuming that technology is a revolutionary scientific advancement with all the publicity given to Elon Musk's BCI business, Neuralink. It was, however, actually been around for quite some time. What do you think of Elon Musk initiating human trials for his implants? Do you think it's secure? Comment below with your thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and chime the notification bell to keep tabs on all our activities. Thanks for watching.